So what I have here, for example, is a video camera that I'm recording. It's a nice little uh, solid state, no moving parts video camera. And I'm actually going to take this later on tonight and upload it to a website called YouTube. You might have heard of it. And I'm going to use this video on our website. And I foresee this as one way, for example, that we might be able to uh, demonstrate the power of this new website by embedding video, by using multimedia, by uh, doing a lot of new things that are not really new for the rest of the internet, but they'll, they'll be very new if you're familiar with the Ewing website as it is now. So one thing we were very concerned about, and Dave Martin in particular was very concerned about, and that's why I'm sorry he's not here to take credit, was document management. We have a lot of documents as a township uh, flowing back and forth, and most of them, if not all of them, uh, that we're concerned about are public documents. So we want them to be available to the public. We want them to be searchable. We don't want you to have any barriers to getting to them. And so document management was high on our list of priorities for what we wanted to do. We think we found a fantastic tool to help us with document management. And uh, we're going to demonstrate that. We're also going to talk about the basic navigation of the site. And if you're familiar with the current site, you'll be familiar with the basic navigation of our new site. And what you need to know is that it's very easy to change. If, if, if enough voices get heard that it's difficult to get to this point in the site, and so I want that brought higher up, it's really a two-click operation to bring that site higher up all across the site. There is an event calendar. And so if you want to know what's going on today in Ewing, New Jersey, that is officially sanctioned by the township, it's pretty difficult. It, you, unless somebody went through the trouble to contact the person who puts the thing up on the site, uh, they're not going to, going to necessarily find it. And so, or unless they're paying attention to the observer or some external source of information, um, they're not going to find it currently. With the new website, we have an event calendar that's very easy to update. You essentially type in uh, to a form as though you were uh, typing into an email, and you can have these events show up on this calendar. Ease of updating by mortals, and I, I say that term with a uh, great deal of respect for the people who do the work in the day-to-day -day, um, job here. When you take somebody who's an expert at licensing, or you take an expert that's uh, somebody who's an expert in governance, and you ask them to become an expert in web design, it's, it's not likely to happen. And so one thing that this engine does is it simplifies updating the website. Thank you very much. Media embedding, which is specifically what I'm talking about with this video. Once I record this video and put it up onto YouTube, or really anywhere else, I'll be able to use that as a part of our site, as though it was a part of the site directly. Um, and I'll give you a demonstration of that. RSS feeds, I'm not going to go into great detail unless somebody really wants me to. I don't know how many amongst you even recognize that phrase. Do you know what, you know what RSS feeds are, Mr. Hoyt? Yeah. So we have RSS feeds available as a part of this site by default, just because of the engine that we're using. RSS feeds allow you to very easily subscribe to the site, and by subscribe I mean sort of tell your application to pay attention to the site automatically. It might be your email application, for example. Um, so that you don't have to navigate to the site in order to find out what's going on. That information comes to you, and that technology is referred to as RSS feeds. Posts and pages. Um, what we have now, currently on the current uh, Ewing website, is a series of static pages. And when you want to make a change, you have to make a change to this one page, and everything else sort of stays the same. With WordPress, which is the engine that we're going to demonstrate, uh, what that is most like is a page in WordPress. In other words, if we have some static content, something that's not going to change very often, we would put that into a page in WordPress. Posts are different. Posts are a way of putting sort of fleeting information, something that's a news item or something that's just going to happen today or this week. And it comes up, and then it gets uh, pushed down by something newer. And that gets pushed down by something newer. And that gets pushed down by something newer. Um, that's where we get into the blogging capabilities of the site, which I don't think we're actually going to use very much. But you should know that it has all the functionality that's present in the current website and a whole lot more. We're going to talk about all those. Then finally, we're going to have um, a demonstration of related sites, in other words, links to other resources. 
if there's a Ewing sponsored site, something that Ewing Township wants to be related to but is not responsible for, we can very easily link to it. And I actually had a request earlier tonight for exactly that, and maybe we'll talk about that in a little bit. And finally, themes. There will be a time when everybody in the township is tired of looking at the theme of this site, the look and feel of this site. Currently, it's a bright white, less bright white than it was, uh, but it's, it's a pretty white theme. And that was by design. We wanted it to be elegant. We didn't want it to be um, clean, zen, sort of, uh, we wanted people to breathe easy when they looked at it. And as a result, we chose this theme. But I'll show you how easy it is for us if we decide that we want to pursue uh, an environmental stance. Maybe we want to have the site be green instead of white. We could very easily, in a click, turn that into thank you, turn that into a green site, or we could turn it into a green site for a week if we wanted to celebrate Earth Week or something like that. Okay. Anybody have any questions?